Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I want to wish you a good morning. It's morning here, and um, I am excited to bring to you an embellishment video using some of these little um, lights. They're the ones like you would put in one of those ceramic trees, and some wire, and let's see so I'm going to be using those and we are going to be making a memory decks card so first we'll do the embellishment and then we'll move right into the index card I mean the memory decks card so we're going to go ahead and pour out some of these I'm going to want a blue this reddish orange and yellow and a green I believe so I think that's, oh, you know what, blue, red, orange, I don't think I have any more purple ones left, I've used them all, so, um, yeah, so we'll stick to that. So, I have my wire here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about a two inch tail um, this time, and... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start wrapping this wire around. It needs to be very, very tight. Very tight because you're just holding this light with the, um, with the wire at this time. Okay, so I've wrapped it around three times. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to wrap the tail of one of the lights one time around. And that's going to give us this little curly thing that you see sometimes when you see decorations, um, you know, like drawings of lights. You usually, you, sometimes you'll see like a little um, curly, curly curl. So we're going to go around it again because we want two of those. Okay. So I have two of those. This one did not come out as round because I didn't pull it tight enough. Okay, pull it tight. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and let's see. Let's go with the red one. And again, we're going to just wrap it around really, really tight. Okay. Then we're going to come back and... We'll do that around again and around this way. So I got these light things in the miniature section um, at Michael's. I got them, they were um, like 60 or 70% off <laughs> the day that I got them, plus I had a 25% off or I got. 25% off as well so um, so that was a good find and it was kind of fun to be able to I thought I was like I wonder if this will work and um, it's working it's um, I am going to go back and add some glue to these after they're done um, to help hold them in because you can see they they want I, most of them stayed in really well. I did have a couple that just seemed to... There we go. That one's tight now. Um, that seemed to want to come out. And if I wasn't having trouble with my thumb, this would... I don't think this would be nearly as hard. And I do my lights every other way. So one is pointing to the left, one is pointing to the right, to the left. And then we'll do one more. Whoopsie. Whoops. Well, I guess we're gonna put one in. <laughs> you put them in straight right next to each other just like that and go back and 
tighten one more. Okay, so that is the um, how I put the lights on. Okay, and then you can just add a couple more of the little um, circular, the little curlies, and then you can go ahead and move them around. Like I said, I made a few of them last night. So, um, and then one other, another one that I did was this one here. Okay, where I just kind of made it like you would have it hanging on the house. Okay, so for our, so, you, um, so then how would you use this in your, um, your memory keeping and stuff? One of the things I thought would be really fun was I have these, um, embossed papers that this one was embossed with this embossing folder that I got on HSN. Um, they are, I don't have the embossing folder, but I have the, let's see, here's the matching stamp set, um, by Sheena Douglas, and, um, and then this is the matching embossing folder, and, oh my gosh, I love it, and I just thought that these would be <clears throat> really cute, just coming down the side, and the way that I figured that I would need to whoops, um, that wire <laughs> attach them is by using my stapler. So I'm just going to go in and staple it down in a couple of places. And um, so that will hold it on there. But I thought that that would be really, really fun. Um, yes, it is bulky, but um, but really cute. So this could be on a on a Christmas card. Um, I'm going to use this in my uh, December daily, actually. So I um, I did him out of white because I'll have him stamped somewhere else. But I just, I really like this. And this is the reverse. So so this is one way. And this is the other. And I thought it would be really cool because it still looks really nice on both sides. So um, I'll show you. Just, there's the little Bambi guy. Ugh, isn't that so cute? Yeah, so those were embossing folders that I had gotten from HSN um, months ago. And I'm finally getting to use them. So, um, so let's go ahead and we're going to do our memory decks card. And I have cut one of the, some green out of my stash actually using, um, this die from the Heidi Swap memory decks dies. And... I'm going to use this Merry and Bright card that I had in my stash. And I think we'll, I, I really am liking these doilies. I got these doilies in the baking section at Michael's when they were on sale. Um, and I really wish I'd bought more. I, I'm, you see me use them a lot. And I got them in gold and silver, and I've mostly used the gold. So I'm just going to attach that. So I'm, I'm using my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, the Aqua, and I'm using the fine tip side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this card 
one here. I really like this glue. If I happen to end up getting any of it on anything, it comes, it, you can rub it off. There we go. And then I had cut out some of, I had this gift tag set, or gift tag sheet, and I had cut out some Santas. I also wanted to use this um, piece of ribbon. I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on it. It was a piece that was left over from something. It's like, oh, let's let's use that. Get it off my pile of stuff. Okay, so then Santa, we're gonna have to lay them on here, but we want to be able to see Merry and Bright. And these are not sticking anymore. These gift tags, you take them, they're, they're stuck to the sheet, but when you take them off, there's no sticky. They're not that old either, but oh well. There. We'll put him on there. I kind of, I mean, it would be kind of cool even just like that. Um... But we do have, I mean, the whole idea is to use this. <laughs> oh, I kind of like it going up. I like it going up. Okay. So again, I think I'm going to attach it with my stapler. Now on my memory decks um, holder, I can go up high. I have about an inch and a half um, my that my holder is and my my top is open so I can have things be be taller okay so that of course didn't work because we're on camera <laughs> I thought the other thing when I was making these, I was like, well, I could sew them. You know, just hand sew, hand stitch them in. Because that's one of the things, when you come up with an idea of, of how, of, you know, a new thing like this, but you still have to figure out how you're going to put it on things. So I got it to go through, but it didn't um, clamp. So I'm just taking my finger and pushing the sides of the staple down. Okay, so there. Should have done that on this other side. Should have very simply done this on the other side. Oh my gosh, I really like them though. It's like I've made some of the the strings of them last night while we were watching TV, but of course I didn't didn't get to come in here and see what I was going to do with them. But I wanted to see if they if they were going to hold. Um, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some glue on them also. Okay, so I have a little piece of this coming up there. So I'm going to find my uh, one of my jewelry tools here. And just pull this the rest of the way down. There. Yeah, it's right up against it. And then we'll do the same with this one. Okay, 
so I really like that but I don't think it's finished it needs something I had some of this still on my on my desk from the A tree. A tree would be cute over there. I made a tree. Nah, don't like that tree. Got one of these trees like I was making the other day. Since we already have the bulk from the light. can do a one two three tree a one two three tree so there would be the one okay there's one okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit of this um, excess stuff And here's the two. And here's the three. And again, we'll cut just a little bit of this off. And um, let's see if I can find the mat. In case you're wondering what this came from. This is a mat of like evergreen. And I just pull off one of these little things and they come right off this little spike. And that's what I'm using to make my little one, two, three tree. On the, I made a tag. We saw me start it. I made the other tag. This is the one that I was showing when I was starting it. Um, this is a one, two, three, four. So it has four on the bottom, one, two, three, four. And then I made it into a tag. Um, one of the videos last week had the uh, tree and it was a 3D tag. It was actually the tree was behind a window. It turned out kind of cool. I liked it. Okay, so there's our one, two, three tree. And let's see. Um... need a star for our tree so I have this this is double-sided it's um, silver on one side and gold on the other and it's from in my stash and this is one of those punches that my yaya Kathy got me this package that had uh, like 28 maybe more than that uh, punches and this is the star punch from out of that um let's see do we have any more of yeah we have a little bit more the baker's twine okay and we'll just have our little decoration come around and around and around and around and then we'll cut it and I will use the hot glue to um, to hold this down Blue sticks. Okay. 
I have to be right back. I have to pull it over here because this is where the this is how far the glue will reach. Okay, and we need a little bit to hold the top part. Okay. Okay, so that those are being held in there. That was good. Oh, put a little bit on this star because it is um, like a it's plasticky, so it might not hold really well with the the other. There we go. I think we'll hold it down. Then we have some of the bling. From my dollar forty nine cent store, so we'll give this some ornaments, ornaments on the tree, and they'll be blingy, so they'll be shiny. Okay, sticker sheet with presents on it. Okay, this sticker sheet has a couple presents. I can get it. <laughs> I can get it open. I can, can't get the sticky sheet to come out. There we go. Okay, so we had, I saw presents. There. And I will also hot glue these down. Oh, interesting. This one is um, thick. And this, the other ones are all real, th they're thin. They don't, they're not the puffy. Um, we will go with the one with the green. You know what? I'll go with this one. So we're sticking to the same, same theme. Okay. So let me get some glue, hot glue on there. So there we have a little Memory Dex card using the light bright um, or bright light or whatever <laughs> little lights on a wire. <coughs> and also a page for my um, for my December daily. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Today I'm celebrating, um, by the way, my parents were able to move back into their home last night. Um, I have not gotten an update. They, I, the, they were on their way to their house. And so I'll, I'll talk to them this morning. Um, so thank you all for your thoughts and your prayers and, um, you know, continue them for, for all the hundreds and hundreds of people that lost their homes in the fires in Southern California this last week, um, and Northern California 
you know, just last month. So uh, it's been a been been a hard, hard, crazy week for my family. So there is my little memory decks card. Again, thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.